Good morning and thank you for joining me. Today I just want to do a quick video showing you um, some of the other products that SNS Computing offers. I don't sell the license numbers to all of them, just So What Pro and So Art because those are the two that I'm familiar with. Um, I can get you one. I mean, if you want the link through me and you absolutely are a diehard sweetheart and need it through me, I will do it. But you can easily find it right here on sandscomputing.com slash products dash shop slash. Okay, so it's right up here. Go ahead and pause it and write it down if you need to. Okay. So whenever you come to the SNS Computing website, it's just snscomputing.com. And then um, you can choose the shop option. You can pick each of these separately, or you can just click shop, or you can go to the link up there directly to the shopping. And right down here, it shows you everything that they offer. They have So What Pro Embroidery Editor, which is the most popular, and it's, well, this gives you a whole description on it, but I'll give you my quick version. <laughs> so What Pro is an editor for the embroidery files. So whenever you get an embroidery machine, it already has a bunch of designs on it. Each of those designs is a file. So um, you, uh, other people create them, and that's what So Art so art does it's a digitizer so people will take images and create them in so art as embroidery files and then you can buy them and you can merge them you can make them bigger smaller change the colors all kinds of different stuff with so what pro my favorite thing about so what pro is being able to merge things that's what i use it for the most you can also view your embroidery files with so what pro and that's really valuable to me as well. So sometimes when I'm just looking for a file, I'll just open my Sew Up Pro and open, click the open and go through there. But they also have, um, I believe it's the cataloger. Oh, here it is. It's the iconizer. So icons is software for viewing the contents of embroidery files. So this is a separate one if you don't want to do that. But that's mostly what I use So What Pro for right now. A lot of different people use it for a lot of different things. It's really, really wonderful program. Okay, so So Art is the digitizer program. It's what you're going to use to create an embroidery file from from an image file. So JPG, PNGs, etc. The best thing to use in SOART, in my opinion, are SVGs. They're scalable vector graphics and they come <clears throat> in with the same colors that they're designed with. So if you buy an SVG off of Etsy, usually you'll buy a whole pack of SVGs, um, a bunch of pictures. Whenever you bring it into your so art, you aren't going to have to do a bunch of editing. If you've watched any of the older videos, or if you've brought in a JPG or a PNG or a TIF even, I don't know if you can, but I think you can. <laughs> if you've brought in any of those, you know that even if you design it with one or two colors, it's going to come in with like 250 colors. So SVGs, 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 SVGs. If there's any tip that you're going to get from this entire video, it's the if you want to use SVGs if you can. Sometimes it's unavoidable. You have to use, you know, whatever image file you have. And then you have to go about cleaning it and stuff like that. Cleaning it up um, and, and, you know, reducing the colors, adding colors, all of that stuff. Okay, so that's what SoArt does. SoArt, um, you create the embroidery file. So you can create just regular embroidery or you can create um, applique files, which is what I'm really excited about. I use it a lot for applique and for in the hoop stuff, mostly in the hoop stuff. I'm kind of an in the hoop junkie. I was scared to death of it and now I love it. <laughs> All right, so, but in SoArt, you can't really use it for, um, a lot of stuff that requires a lot of satin stitching. It's not designed yet, and I say yet because it's constantly evolving. Um, it's not designed yet to follow the outward flow of letters. Um, so everything kind of only follows a straight line, the satin stitch. 
so when you're doing fancy lettering or anything like that, it's not going to curve correctly. It's going to give you a lot of spacing. And if you have letters that are maybe skinny in one part and fat in another part, it's only going to do the skinny part. <laughs> so it's just not ready to do that yet. So if you're looking at sew art for logos and um, stuff like that, you're going to have to also buy Sew Art Pro Embroidery Editor to add pre-digitized letters to your designs. I would not... Um, I would not advise using SoArt to try to do lettering. However, they do have SoWrite Embroidery Lettering and Monogram Editor, and this works with any font that you download. Um, <clears throat> as far as I understand, I haven't used I haven't used anything besides SoArt and SoArt Pro. I'm just showing you guys that I know that they have more stuff in what they do. Um, and I know there are groups on Facebook, and I believe probably Yahoo groups for each of these different kinds. Um, we have a SoArt group, it's SoArt Embroidery Digitizing for Beginners, and it's like super beginners, because even though I can help you guys with a lot of this stuff, I'm still learning myself, I'm super beginner myself. So, um, but there is also another SoArt group on Facebook that um, has more advanced users, people who've been using it for years before I have. You know, there's a lot more people out there with a lot more information than I do. They're just not taking the time to make videos, which is, you know, it does take time. So it's understandable. So there's two groups that um, are on YouTube and they'll be in my description below. So check that out. There's also So What Pro groups on Facebook and also I believe in the Gmail circle, the Google universe or something. I don't the Facebook of Google. <laughs> um, I know that Eve from our So Art group is a part of that Google one, or or she has is running it. I don't really know. <laughs> I have so much stuff. Try to try to remember that I just I don't remember everything. Sorry, but there is there's tons of resources out there. And if you can't find any of that stuff, come find us on Facebook and um, ask us questions there, especially if you need help through. Sorry, I know this is going in a different direction than I meant, but if you have questions that you need to send me pictures and stuff, do that through Facebook. It's really difficult to do through YouTube. I they I can't do pictures. I can't send you pictures of what things look like. You can't send me pictures of what things look like. So it's really hard for me to help on YouTube. So, okay, back to the point. Okay, so that is for lettering. So the editor, digitizer, letter, lettering, <laughs> letterizer. <laughs> and the so cons. So icons, embroider, iconizer, iconizer. This is the one where you'll be able to view your embroidery files. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to open up Sew Up Pro and show you. I don't know what so icons look like, looks like, but if you're somebody who has thousands of files, you're going to love something like this. But I'm guessing if you're somebody with thousands of files, you probably already have Sew Up Pro. <laughs> But this one, you know, it, it's for those people who just want to be able to look up what they have and be able to send it to their machine. Okay, so cat embroidery cataloger. I'll come back to, to opening up this in Sew Up Pro when it opens. I don't know why it's being so slow. <laughs> so cat embroidery cataloger. This is for cataloging embroidery files on your computer and your external drives. It will help you organize everything basically. Um, so clean embroidery duplicate file remover. This just goes in and cleans up anything. So say like on urban threads, it's hard to tell what you've bought or no, no, not on urban threads. Urban threads will let you know if you've bought it, but on planet applique, you don't know if you've bought it before. There's, there's no, they don't have a system that tells you you've bought it before. So if you do buy it before, or if it's a free download that you've downloaded twice, um, the, sorry, I lost it again. The duplicate file remover will go in and get rid of it. So that's what that is for. Everything on here has a read more section. 
and that's really nice. On each of their pages, their individual pages, which I'm sure is where the Read More is going to send you, as well as up here, there is um, all the way down at the very bottom, and I'll show you on the Sew Art page. So on the Sew Art page, it's going to come with this very beautiful picture. I believe these guys are from Tennessee. Um, so these are probably the Tennessee mountains, Tennessee or Kentucky, but I'm, I'm almost certain it's Tennessee. <laughs> I'm sure it's there in the contact spot. All right. So, so our embroidery digitizer, what I was getting at was when you go into their individual pages, it'll give you all this stuff. This is where you come when you buy the, um, license number from me or from any of the other people out there who offer it, this is where you come to download it. And then you can enter your number into the program whenever it's on there. So you'll download for Windows or for Mac. And then there's your manual as well. This is not the same as the FAQ or the help section in the program. This is actually very, very in-depth. And um, you can open it up and save it as a PDF on your computer. Okay, it'll tell you how much it costs. You can buy it right from there or you can buy it from me. You can buy it from the baby's booty. It's all the same price at all of those. Um, international support. So they give you all these different files for these different ones. And I'm sure that if you contacted them, they can help you with more. This will tell you all the features. Blah, 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 <laughs> But this is what I was really getting at. So this is what it's going to look like on each page mostly. And then down here at the very bottom, it'll have all of the um, YouTube videos that are connected with it. Not all of them, if there's a bunch of new ones from somebody, but as they notice them, they try to add them. So a lot of these are mine. A lot of these are not. And that's okay because having a bunch of different teachers for the same subject is the best way to figure out how to use it best for yourself. Wonder where you want to go with all of this? Many different teachers. Don't ever just try to learn all from one because especially me, I don't know everything. <laughs> and nobody can know everything. Even if they think that they've been taught everything, there's always something to learn. So there's my very first one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so all of these, um, you know, they'll have, each one of these will have it if there are videos out there. And um, if there's not a video on a subject that you're looking for, let me know. Um, let me know in the comments under this video specifically. Um, you know, if I don't know how to do it, I won't make the video. But if I do, I will. I forgot I was going to show you how to look at your files using Sew Up Pro. So you can't catalog them like with numbers and stuff like that, but you can go in and choose open or choose that folder button right there. And then it looks like there's only two things in my documents right now, but if I want to see what they are, I just have to click on them and then it'll bring it up over here. So then I don't have to open it up, drag it into my machine or drag it, open it up even. I don't have to open it up at all. So um, this is what's going to help you if you don't want to buy sew icons and you want to be able to still look at everything, you can go ahead and um, look it up in your Sew Up Pro. So these are all the ones that are like on my desktop and I don't know why it's not letting me switch. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> don't not worry. Be happy. That was the free one. Okay. I'm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's how you view your stuff using Sew Up Pro. But if you want Sew Icons, it's going to do pretty much the same thing. Um, but it's going to stand alone so that you can look at lots of different things and you don't have to be in Sew Up Pro. And I'm sure it has other features that I don't even know about. But that's what you can do with it, and that's what you can do in Sew Up Pro. So I hope that this was helpful, helpful for you guys, helpful for you to understand the different things that different programs do and help you decide which one you might need. Alrighty, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.